Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Jeep Grand Cherokee, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. So before we get started, we wanted to make a quick note. The Jeep Grand Cherokee does come with a pre-installed wiring harness. Now that is located right behind the bumper fascia, right towards the center right here. Unfortunately, this plug is not active. If you'd like to use this plug, you'll need to take it to your Jeep dealership and they will activate it for you for a cost. Now our wiring harness that we will be using will be going through the tail lights of the vehicle. So we will go ahead and start up there. All right, so our first step is to remove the driver's side tail light. And we'll do that by removing these two push pins right here. And we're just gonna use a flathead screwdriver for that. All right, with the two push pins out, we'll go ahead and remove our driver's side tail light. Using a trim panel removal tool, we'll slide it in, and then that will give us access to take it out. And now we'll unplug our tail light by removing these three harnesses right here. And we'll pull on this red tab right there, and then we'll push on the harness and pull it out. We'll repeat on the other two. and we'll repeat the same process on the passenger tail light. All right, for our next step, we're gonna go ahead and take our T connection with the yellow wire and our T-connector with the brown wire. And we're gonna run it up through the bumper towards the uh, taillight harness. All right, now our, our next step is to connect our T-harnesses with our taillight harness. And they just match up with the two black taillight harnesses. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and ground our harness and we're gonna be using a quarter inch tap screw. And we're just gonna put it right here on the side of the frame. All right, our next step is we're going to route our green T connector towards the passenger side tail light. And we're gonna route it by following the bumper support. We're going to continue to follow these wires right behind the bumper support. And then we'll bring it up to the taillight harness following the same path that we did on the driver's side. And on the passenger side, we're just going to connect it to the larger taillight harness. And we're gonna go ahead and clean up our extra wires so we can go ahead and put our tail light back on. And we're gonna go ahead and put our passenger side tail light back on. our three clips and put the tail light back into position. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. Next, we're gonna hook up our power wire to our converter box, and we're gonna use the provided heat shrink buck connector. And 
and we'll use our butane torch to go ahead and heat shrink that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and run our power wire to the battery at the front of the vehicle. Now, we have determined that the best route is to follow this loom of wires, and it brings you all the way to the firewall on the passenger side. So we're gonna use zip ties and secure it to, the, to that loom. Alright, so we pulled it up on to the ramps to give you a better view of our firewall. Now we're just going to go ahead and follow this loom. As you can see, it just keeps going up through the firewall. So we're going to go ahead and push our wire back up and get it towards our battery. Alright, right here on the passenger side is the battery post that we'll be using. Now the wire looms come right down in here, and if you reach down, we'll find the end of our power wire and we'll go ahead and pull it through nice and tight and then we'll secure it using a zip tie. All right, we're gonna go ahead and attach our fuse holder. So we're gonna cut our wire. And then using our heat shrink buck connector, We'll go ahead and attach that. And then on the other end of the fuse holder, we'll go ahead and put a heat shrink terminal ring. And then we'll be using our butane torch to go ahead and use the heat shrink. All right, now we're going to go ahead and remove the battery terminal nut. And we're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. And then we'll put our fuse holder onto the post. And then we'll go ahead and tighten it down. All right now we'll go ahead and take our provided 15 amp fuse and we'll just place it in the fuse holder. Right now we'll just clean up our wires and tuck those in. And then we'll put our terminal cap back on. And close the hood. All right, now that everything is hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and secure our converter box. We're just gonna use a tap screw and mount it to the frame. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and mount our four flat bracket. On our hitch, we have a welded mount right here that we'll be attaching it to. So we're gonna follow the bumpers, bumper support like we did before to bring our wire there. All right, now that we have our four flat routed, uh, our kit does not come with a four flat mounting bracket. So we're gonna use U-Haul part number CQT118144 to mount it to our welded plate and we'll be using the included screws and nuts to put that into place. And we'll tighten it down using a Phillips screwdriver. And then we'll put our four flat into place. And then we'll go ahead and clean up the rest of our wires with some zip ties. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. 
For more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.